Hey, Aquaha Boy Rocks, it's Thunder Egg Thursday. I'm going handheld because I still have not gotten myself a new phone where I can use a microphone. So, got you closer to me so you can hear me. I've got four more Thunder Egg conglomerates to show you, so this will be a short one, but I think these are some cool ones. So, let's get over to the table and check them out. So I've got three different locations here. This is a bird's eye rhyolite that I bought at Richardson's Ranch. It's from somewhere in Mexico. Don't know where. I think it's kind of funny with American material. We get right down to the nitty gritty of where it came from. And this international material. Um, sometimes you get a region that it's from, but a lot of times it's just marked Mexican bird's eye rhyolite. So that's a big country. Who knows where that came from, but I think it's kind of cool. Then I have the agate thunder egg bed um, from White Fur Springs. So there's a jasper bed and an agate bed. They call them both White Fur Springs. This is a club claim. I went there on a field trip and didn't find much worthwhile at Thunder Eggs at all, but I found this piece. And I like this piece. Here's one chunk I took off of it. Got some beautiful clear agate in those little eggs. A lot of character, deep green in the rhyolite. See if I can get this to sit where you can see the side that's still on the chunk here. Take a look at this other side I took a piece off of. To me, that's just gorgeous. It almost makes the trip worthwhile. Here's this piece. So we've got the clear agate, but we also have like a creamy green color agate in there. I hadn't seen that in any other material I have. Got it over on this side. And this piece has some little hollow eggs with some druzy, some kind of mineral coating in there so really neat then so we went from mexico to oregon now let's go to washington to the lily pad bed i showed you one conglomerate from there but this area one hillside has material that looks all sorts of different ways There's a really neat one. And here's the coolest one. This is... Man, that is right up there with the favorite things I've cut in the last few years. And we've got different looking eggs. Got individual little tiny ones. Got big old swirly masses. It almost looks like a seashell or something there. That egg. Got them in lines, just all sorts of neat stuff. Don't think this would be great lapidary material. The eggs would polish. I don't think this matrix would, and I think it would just fall apart if I tried to cut it down further. 
Okay, so that's the remaining Thunder Egg conglomerate. And as I was recording that, I think I might have already shown you one of those. So uh, go back and watch the other video and maybe have to edit it out. But, you know, really like this stuff. Again, a lot of times I'm having trouble getting good eggs. But some really pretty examples of that will be laying all over the place. Alright, I will see you next Thunder Egg Thursday.